Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony. And I'm Allie. And if you're new to this channel, we show you how to fix your snow globes here. If you like this content, uh, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. And uh, at the end of the video, there will be some links to some of our other videos you might be interested in. So, uh, Easter is this coming Sunday. And we thought we have some Easter globes here that we said that now's the time to actually fix these. We so do. we have a handful. Yeah, we got a few. So we're gonna go ahead and fix some Easter can, snow globes. Yeah. See if we can get them. See how many we can get done before yeah. Easter. And, and I like this one. I like this one a lot. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. This like is uh, this is one that Allie likes. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna start with this one. And uh, as you can see, it's one of those bell-shaped uh, 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 globes. And it's it's very similar to one of those a uh, couple of those other bell shaped glows that we have with um, with swans I think in the side, yeah, but this one good. this one has a uh, this one has rabbits, and the handle for the top there is a carrot, uh, so it's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. So uh, we'll start at the top, and uh, as you can see, we've got this uh, big carrot up here. That's the yeah. hand. Yeah, that's the handle of the bell up there. And we've got uh, a rabbit, and it looks like a. Uh, is that a duck? I think that, is that a duck or is uh, that a chick? That is, a, is that a little chick? I'm not sure. That's I a. Think, I don't think that's a duck. I think that's a. That might be a chick. Like it's a. It's got an orange beak. Orange beak. Okay. I. I don't think that's a duck. I think that's a chick. But uh, it's hard to say from here. It might be a duck. I think that's a duck. It could be a duck. Yeah. So we've got the duck and the rabbit, <laughs> <laughs> the duck and the rabbit hanging on to that. Great uh, debate. Yeah, the hanging on to that carrot up there, and the carrot's got a nice ribbon with uh, some flowers on it. Some award winning yep. carrot. Yep. And uh, yeah, and there's uh, grass and flowers in the very top there on that ornament that the uh, carrot is connected to. And uh, then inside the globe, uh, we have a couple of rabbits. Looks like maybe uh, a mother and a child, possibly. Uh, and they have a potted plant there. Looks like some flowers that they're uh, they're sitting next to. And then the base uh, has a bunch of flowers. Looks like looks like everything's intact. None of those flowers have broken off. So uh, the whole thing's in, in in good shape except for two things. The water is all murky, and the figurine has come loose completely. So we've got yellow brown water, murky. Loose, uh, loose. Um, the is the stopper pulled up as well? Might be, yeah. That might be. Looks like it might be pulled up as well. So, uh, new water, new glitter, and reattach that uh, figurine to the stopper, and uh, we have a fin we would have a finished uh, Easter globe here. So, um, let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. All right. So as usual, the first step is to take this uh, cover off. And uh, as usual, these are normally put on with hot glue, so we're going to heat it up with the hair dryer, uh, get that glue to uh, melt, and then we can uh, pry it off of there. Uh, looks like we got some space to get the screwdriver underneath it over here. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, heat it up on this side over here and uh, see if we can get it loose from that side first. All right. All right, there we go. We uh, got the cover off, and the music box looks like in good condition, and it works. So no need to worry about the music box. We'll Perfect. set that aside. Love it when we don't have to deal with the music right, box. Right, exactly. All right, <laughs> so um, this one's going to be a little tricky, as is with these types of globes, because we can't just put it upside down, we're gonna to have to hold it on its side. So, um, Ali, if you could hold this up like this, we'll go ahead and see if we can get that stopper out of there. Nice. So we this, this one has some glue on it here, so we're gonna to have to cut through that glue. Got our uh, razor knife here. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and go around the globe with the razor and just cut through that glue. Oh, 
And once we've cut through that glue, we should be able to remove that excess glue and then we can pull the stopper out of there. All right, there we go. Now, let me see if I can get some of that. There we go. So there, there's all that glue that was in there. Okay, that came out real nice. One I love big it when it piece. comes off in one piece like that. One it's piece, very satisfying. yes. Exactly. It's so much easier that way. Sometimes the glue is all dry rotted and comes out in pieces. It's hard to deal with, but uh, this one worked pretty well. All right, so now we're going to grab the stopper here, and this should be fairly easy to get out since the uh, figurine is not connected. And a little bit of water is going to come out probably since we got it on its side, but there we go. Okay, there's the stopper. All right, now. I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, pull the figurine out. Let's see if I can get the figurine out here. There we go. All right. So there is the there's the figurine right there. And now we've got the uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour this water out, which, which is uh, in pretty bad shape. A little bit of an icky smell to it. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean off the, the uh, stopper and we're going to clean off the, uh, the figurine. We'll use uh, a, a soft brush on the figurine and the, uh, the stopper with some uh, dish soap and then uh, we have like a sponge with a handle on it and some dish soap and we'll clean this out and everything should look good. We'll be right back. So, uh, globe is clean, uh, figurine is clean, stopper is clean, everything's dry. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, this stopper looks like it's a little bit uh, yeah. uh, bowed in the middle there, uh, and it doesn't sit flat. However, we're going to put glue around the perimeter of the uh, figurine and as well as the center. And when we hold it down, it should push the, the, the stopper flat and it should hold it there once the glue dries. So. We'll find out. We're going to find out, right. So let's start by putting some, and we use Zappagap to glue the figurines down onto the stopper. This is what American Art, or, uh, American? Uh, National Art Craft recommended was Zappagap. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this on here. There we go. And then I'm going to press this down and hold it in place until that glue dries. And it should hold right there where we put it. Oh, let me move it over a little bit. Oh, there we go. It wasn't centered. There we go. Now it's centered. Okay. So I'm going to hold that down. And once this is set, then uh, that uh, stopper should be uh, somewhat flat. So we'll be back when that glue dries. All right. Uh, we have a little homemade uh, rig here that we put together a uh, piece of wood with some rubber bands to hold the uh, figurine down under the stopper. Yeah keeps us from having to hold it with our hands, but uh, it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. So we've had this sitting here for a while. Let's get these rubber bands off. And uh, yeah, that figurine is attached. And as you can see, the uh, the stopper is flat. So it's not all bowed anymore. So it should work just fine. All right, so we're ready to start putting this back together. All right, so this uh, bell-shaped globe right here holds 14 ounces of water and 30%, which is what we've been using these days, 30% uh, glue uh, would be eight tablespoons of glue in that 14 ounces of water. So let's go ahead and start by putting some water in there. I think because of the um, confetti glitter mm -hmm. that I'm gonna use, mm -hmm. we might wanna use a little bit more glue because um, these are heavier, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to take, it's just a little heavier than regular glitter, so maybe just a hair more glue. So a little, a little more than 30% you're yeah, saying? Just just a hair because it's going to be heavier and it's going to slow, it's going right. to fall faster if okay. we don't. So, all right, we'll put maybe uh, 30, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. It's not like, yeah, you know, just a little bit more. Sure. Okay. So. Instead of eight tablespoons of glue, uh, maybe we'll go ahead with uh, 10. Yeah. Okay, we'll put 10 in there. That'll be like maybe 32%, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I got these cute little like green stars. Uh, I'm off to the side, so I can't tell where I'm at. Um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kind of neat, I'm gonna though. angle this over a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Here I don't know if you can see yeah, how they're they stars, see. but... Yeah, they're, oh, they're stars. I just yeah. realized that. Okay. They're tiny stars, but they're like literally the same color green right, that's they, going Right, they go with the, the green that's on the... Uh, and they're tiny. Right, they go with the green that's on the uh, yeah. the grass that's here on the, on, the, uh, yeah. on the ornament and some of the green that's on the base. Yeah. Oh, and also the, uh, yes, the green. Yes, that's right. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, can okay. go ahead and hold it. Yeah, okay. and uh, yeah, not too high though. Okay. I know. I just don't want it. To right. I understand. <laughs> go into the to the thingy there. Okay. So put some water in there. And now I am going to put ten tablespoons of uh, glue in there. So let's go ahead and that is going to be. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ten tablespoons of glue. Let's do it. That is approximately 10 tablespoons of glue. And uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the previous videos, uh, sometimes we forget to, to explain it every time, but uh, the clear glue, we add that to the water to thicken the water up so that the glue, snow or glitter will fall slower, it hangs in the water a little bit longer. Uh, some people ask about that, and uh, we have a, a video where we compare glue to glycerin to plain water and baby oil of uh, the, the different things that you can put in your globe. I hate baby oil. Yeah, so you can look in the description and you'll see a link to that video. And uh, so like I said, there's a little more than 30% uh, glue in this uh, in this uh, globe here. So now that Ali's mixed it up, here, I'll hold it in. You hold and that now go ahead and get your glitter and put it in there. Oh, I'll get my glitter all right. I know. That's the whole point. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. What do you think of that? Good or more? I think I like that. Good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Allie's going to add some, what is that? Uh, um, it's an iridescent white. An iridescent. She's going to add a little Just bit of iridescent pitch. white to the uh, green stars that we put in yeah. there. So we got a little bit of sparkle Ooh, in yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. Because this had glitter in it before. Uh -huh. It didn't yeah. have that confetti. No. So we're adding confetti to, to, mm -hmm. to glitter. So it, it'll be uh, in addition to what was already in there before. Right. Okay. All right, so now, if you can hold this, Allie, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more water in there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to wet the stopper so that it installs easier. Okay, so the front of the globe is right here with the uh, rabbit and the duck. Chick. The, whatever that is. Ch what did we decide? A, a uh, we, 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 we called it a, a chuck. A, a, chi chuck. A, chicken, a chicken duck. A chicken a chuck, duck. Kind of like a turducken. Uh -huh. Right, so now we're going to have these two uh, bunnies facing the same direction. So we'll put it in there just like this. And it looks like they're facing... Can you move your thumb for a second? It looks like they're facing the correct direction. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get that stopper down into the into the globe, turn it around. We're trying to keep that carrot on the top of the globe from hitting the, the table, so it's not that easy. So now that I got it partially in there, I'm going to use this little screwdriver here to put in between the stopper and the glass, and this gives a little area for the water and the air to come out easier. So let me go ahead and there we go. See now all the water and the air is coming out through that little space that I made and it's much easier to push in there. And it's spinning <laughs> water a, all over the place. Spinner. Okay, so now I'll take that out of there. Oh look. Oh, ah, oh no. The entire the entire base oh, came out. Oh, okay, that, that's fine. That's no fine. no problem. We should I wish we'd done that beforehand. It would have been easier for you. It would have been easier, but now hey, that's, that's all, right. all right. Okay, we've got the nope. uh, we've got the stopper going in there. So that's this is fine. No problem. It saves us a little trouble. It does. It's it's easier to do this way anyway. It is. Okay, so let me get this back in here now that I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, these really tall globes are 
kind of a pain sometimes because mm -hmm. it's, it's it, there we go okay so let me go ahead and get that okay there we go it's all even let's see if it's in the direction that we want it is so there we go all uh, right shake it up let's see what it looks like okay looks good yeah okay so now we've got the uh, stopper in there nice and even and now we're going to go ahead and get that air bubble out you know uh since we since it's such a tall um since it's such a tall globe yeah let's go ahead and use the syringe okay uh we've been using the uh underwater method the submersion uh lately but uh we used to use the syringe all the time but for this one since it's so tall we'll go ahead and use the syringe so go ahead and hold that mm -hmm. oh you know what we're gonna do before we actually do that since the since the figurine was out of the globe we're gonna go ahead and see how you have all these little bubbles here we're gonna go ahead and let all of those bubbles gather up into one bubble here so that we don't have anything left over when we get this air bubble so we're gonna let this sit here for a while I'm gonna prop it up like this carefully like that mm -hmm. and uh, okay we're gonna come back yeah you can see there's a trail of little tiny bubbles working their way up to here. Tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles, right. So we're going to let all those bubbles work their way up. And then when we uh, come back, we should have them all gathered up up here. And then we'll get them all out at one time with the uh, syringe. All right, right, all the air bubbles have gathered up. And we got a, one big air bubble up here. So now, Ali, if you could hold this. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is we want to hold the, you know what, we're going to have to angle this camera up a little bit. We want to angle this up so that the air bubble is up there by the by the stopper I'm going to make a space right here for the syringe I'm gonna hold it with these little needle nose pliers right here okay and then I am going to carefully work that syringe into the globe there we go and now I'm just going to add water with the syringe until that air bubble is forced out. We've got to angle it. There we go. Now we'll get that last air bubble out of there like that. Okay, and then I'm going to continue putting water in there while I pull the syringe out so no air gets back in there. And there we go. No air bubble. All right. It's cute. Okay, so now we're going to dry off. Let's put all this away. Okay, so now we're gonna dry off the, we're gonna dry off the globe here. An interesting shape and yeah. everything. And since it did us a favor of coming off, we're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and just, and there's no front or back to this, so it doesn't matter which way it goes on there. And what we're going to do, let's see, we're going to have to get an overhead shot of this. So, uh, Allie, if you can kind of hold that uh, base in the spot there, I am going to, we're going to fill it all in, in between the base and the glass to hold the base onto the, onto the globe, and then over the edge to go over the stopper to seal it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got glue all the way around the base, over the stopper and over the glass uh, to seal it. Now we've got a few air bubbles. Let's go ahead and uh, sometimes there's a little bit of water still between the uh, stopper and the glass and the heat from the glue will cause these bubbles to pop up. If you don't pop those and put a little more glue on there, those could turn into a leak. We've seen it happen before. There's just, uh, just a couple on this side right here. Okay, pop those bubbles and then put a little extra glue because you'll see the stopper through the where the air bubble was. Okay. So uh, now that that's there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put three drops of glue to hold the cover on. There 
There we go. Okay, now we're going to let all that glue cool and then we'll uh, come back and take a look at it. All right, all finished up. There she is, looking much better. We're going to take a quick look around. And so we got the uh, <clears throat> we've got the figurine uh, glued back down to the stopper. Got rid of that uh, yellow brownish water, uh, and we uh, put uh, stars and some uh, iridescent white glitter in there. Yeah. So looks much better, all nice and clear. And uh, so let's go ahead and we'll shake it up, see what she looks like. Stars are heavier than I thought they'd be. Yeah. But it looks good. It looks good. The star, even with the 30% glue, the stars are falling a little mm -hmm. faster than we thought, but uh, still looks good. So um, now the music box, you can probably hear it right now. Uh, we've heard this song, I don't know how many times. Mm -hmm. We just cannot think of the title of, of this tune. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and wind this up. And I'm sure several of you are gonna recognize this right off the bat. And I know I've heard that song, yeah. I don't know how many times, and right at the moment, I cannot think of what it yeah. is. So let us know in the comments, and what we'll do is we'll put a little label on the bottom of it so that we know next time, yeah, we, don't, we, don't, sure, we don't forget for what sure. the name of the song is. So so there we go. Our first uh, Easter uh, glow for this year uh, turned out really good. And uh, so there we go. Uh, we'll see if we can do a couple more before, uh, before Easter Sunday. And uh, please join us for the next one. Please do. Hope you enjoyed this uh, and maybe some of you learned something and uh, hey, you got some globes at home that need to be fixed, do it. Don't, don't be afraid and take it apart and fix it. So uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. Bye. Bye.